In my family, we always call this Joe McDinn. So I was very surprised to find out that other people call it Joe McLinn, even my cousins. However you pronounce it, this is one of the easiest Lao sauces to begin with. If you have a jar of this in your fridge, a rotisserie chicken, a steak, anything really can become a Lao meal. Let's get started. I'm going for a medium, mild medium spiciness, so I'm just going to use four peppers. For the tomatoes, you can use just about anything you've got. Cherry tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, tomatoes off the vine, anything will do as long as they're nice and red. Try to cut everything about a centimeter thick so that it all cooks together at the same time. Have a big cookie sheet ready to go lined with tin foil. Same thing for the onions, just peel and slice them thick. Here I've got one small yellow onion. Make sure to get a good sized shallot, they really have a distinct flavor in this dish. I used all the big cloves from one head of garlic, so about five or six cloves will do it. This is what everything should look like spread out on a cookie sheet. See below for how long you should broil everything. Once everything is cooked to your liking, you need to put it either in a mortar and pestle or a food processor. First, pound your aromatics until they form a thick paste. Don't worry about the pepper stems, you can pull those out later. When everything is pretty well mashed up, it's time to add the tomatoes. Remember, you don't have to pound these, just sort of grind them to make them break down. For the fresh herbs, I use just chopped up cilantro and green onions. Season to taste with fish sauce, little by little. You want it to be on the salty side, but not overbearing. If you find it tastes a little flat, add some salt. That's it. Put some aside to eat right away and put the rest in a jar to keep in the fridge. It's so easy to make, I've never tried freezing it, but you could probably do that too. If the tomato skins or pepper stems bother you, just pull them out.
Ideally, you would have this with sticky rice or konyo. Just make it a little ball and dip it right in. It's perfect with grilled or roast chicken, sliced steak, or even fish. If the broiled peppers didn't make it spicy enough, just add some dried red chili flakes. As far as Lao dishes go, it doesn't get much easier than this. Everything is supposed to be a little burnt anyway, so you've already got that in your favor. Leave me a comment and let me know where you're watching from. Kapjai la laida.